to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Quintella. And as you can see, I'm in the kitchen. In the kitchen today, we are cooking shepherd's pie and making party punch. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to go through each ingredient that you will need for your shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Please know that I will put the recipe in the description box so you won't go wrong. So first we have the ground beef. Then of course we have the star of the show, which is the golden mushroom soup. We have cheddar cheese. We have the mashed potatoes that are already been cooked and prepared. We have some milk, we have black pepper, and we have the butter. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the star of the show, which is the golden mushroom soup. Before I get started, let me just say, I've already ground the ground beef. And what I did is I actually have like a pound and a half of ground beef. And then what I did was I sauteed some onions, put some olive oil in a pan, and I sauteed some onions, wait, waited until the onions was kind of soft and added some garlic. Then I went ahead and I browned the ground beef. So here we have the ground beef here. And I'm going to add my golden mushroom soup. Once I add the golden mushroom soup, then what we're going to do is we're just going to mix. is I am going to add the cheddar cheese. Now you can put whatever kind of cheese you want. I like using uh, cheddar. So I'm just gonna add some cheddar cheese just to make sure all of your hamburger meat is covered. So again, we just kinda, my family likes a lot of cheese so I am going to add some more cheese. Make sure it's covered pretty well. Don't want to see any of that ground beef mixture. More cheese, the better. And we love cheese in our household. Okay, so now that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually leave that there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my mashed potatoes. Now, as I stated to you before, what I did was I had already boiled my potatoes. And a lot of you, I'm pretty sure, know how to make mashed potatoes. So I've already boiled them and drained them. Now what I'm going to do is I am just going to mash my potatoes. Okay, so we're done mashing the potatoes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir together. I've already added a butter. I'm just going to mix that up. Make sure nice and mixed very, very good. Then I'm going to add some pepper. And what you're doing, you're just making some mashed potatoes. So I'm going to add some pepper to it. And you add as much pepper as you like to your tasting. It's totally up to you how much pepper you want to add. And then just to make sure that the mashed potatoes are creamy, you can add some milk. Now you don't need to add a lot of milk, but you can add some milk or some half and half. It's totally up to you. But well, we want the you know mashed potatoes to be nice and creamy. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these mashed potatoes right on top of that cheese. Now what I'm gonna do is just take the mixture, the mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna just lay them on top. For the potatoes, I actually use six potatoes. 
five to six potatoes would actually be good. That's all you need. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread the mashed potatoes. So now what I'm getting ready to do is put this in the oven. Now the oven has already been preheated to 375. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven for 45 minutes. You might want to start checking it at 30 minutes because all you want to do is make sure that the potatoes just get a little brown. And then you will see along the edges that cheese bubbling. So then you'll know that the uh, shepherd's pie is done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this in the oven for 45 minutes. So now that the shepherd's pie is in the oven, I am getting ready to make my party punch. Now what I've already done is I've taken some frozen orange juice and just follow the direction. Put the frozen orange juice with three cups of water. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pineapple juice. And I will make sure that the recipe is in the description box for you. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cranberry cocktail juice. And make sure it's cranberry cocktail juice, not the 100% juice. You don't want that. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some ginger ale. And then we will add enough of this to cover, to uh, fill it up. This is my party punch. The reason why we call it party punch because every get together, every holiday, every dinner that we have, I'll always make this punch. This is the favorite punch to make. So that's the reason why we call it the party punch. I am going to add some garnishes. I'm going to add some dried cranberries. Just gonna put some cranberries in there. So we've added some cranberries. Now what I'm gonna do is just put a couple oranges in there. And there you have it, the party punch. Okay, so there you have it. The shepherd's pie is out of the oven. It had a chance to sit just a little bit. Now, we're gonna, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into it to show you all of that goodness. Look at that. The potatoes, the meat. Let me just grab some more meat. How lovely is that? There you have it, the shepherd's pie. There you have it, the shepherd's pie and the party punch. Until next time, bye-bye.